So here is the definition of a cylinder. We didn't touch on a cylinder because I really wanted to focus, Kaylee, on identifying the areas for the prisms for a triangle and a rectangular. However, a cylinder is another type of prism, but it's a prism with a circular base. So if we looked at something that looked like this, right, you could say, OK, that looks like it has a circle and a base, but this really has like an edge. It doesn't really have a side as a base. Well, if I was to take this and put it on the circle as the base, it would look something like this. Would you guys agree? All right. So again, if you guys remember, when we're dealing with a prism, what we want to be able to identify is notice again, the base is the same as the top in terms of area. So if I want to find this lateral surface area, again, I need to do 2 times base. Well, again, the base equals the area, or b equals area of base. Now. I'm going to give you guys the formulas because I was assuming that you guys already knew the formulas for a triangle and a rectangle. That would have been a little too much, right? Yeah. But a circle, let's just remember, what is the area of the base? That is going to be pi r squared because it's a circle. Yes? All right, have you ever had a soup can? Yeah. You know, on a soup can, you can peel off like the label. Yeah. When you peel off the label, what figure does that make? A rectangle. So we've already accounted for the base and the top, right? Those are done. We got those. Now we need to compass for everything that's around the can. And if you were to wrap that out, it's going to look something like this. Now, we obviously know that from here to here, we'll call that the height. But isn't that changing the shape? Right? But what do you mean? No, I'm just unwrapping the figure. OK? I'll give you an example in just a second. So here's our height. What is, if you were to unwrap this, what is, the, what is this wrap around the circle? What is this length? It's not the diameter. Circumference. 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 So what you're going to do is plus um, the area of our side, where s equals the area around the cylinder. So the area around the cylinder, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the circumference of the circle. Remember, circumference equals diameter times pi. So it's diameter times pi times your height. So area is going to equal height times diameter times pi, where h represents the height, which you'll know. d represents the diameter of your circle. And pi is obviously there for pi. Yes. Area base, pi r squared. So, so it's going to be 2 times the base plus the area around the cylinder. And I'll give you guys an example here in just a second. 